you updated on breaking news happening right now in West Allis. A serious house fire on one of the coldest mornings of the year. Our Sean Gallagher is live near 64th and National in West Allis with an update. What's happening, Sean? Yeah, Vincent Elise, we just got done talking to the fire chief with West Allis, and he tells us eight people were inside. That's five adults, three kids, all able to get out safely, as well as their two dogs. I'll get out of the way so you can take a look at what's going on here behind me. Obviously, everybody very cool, calm, and collected right now. They're just battling hot spots, but the fire chief tells us that this all started around 4 a.m. A fire started upstairs in a kitchen. However, nobody home up there. He's not sure how the fire started, just that it started in the kitchen. Now, crews worked extremely quickly, especially under these conditions, getting the fire out in about five minutes. Now, there were reports that someone was trapped on the porch that you could see up there. However, the fire chief tells us that that is false. Everyone was able to get out safely on their own power. Now, the family is being held uh, by the Red Cross right now. They're being kept warm and safe by the Red Cross. So that is good news on this extremely cold morning. Now, morning. Now, speaking of the cold, very tough conditions for the firefighters to deal with this morning. However, the fire chief that spoke to us with West Dallas says this actually isn't too bad, which I was shocked to hear myself with how cold I am out here. Can't imagine what it's like when you have to blast water on this house. He says because there was no wind, it made things a lot easier, but it is very slick out here because of all the water they had to use. So they are going to be getting out of here shortly, but surely you want to give yourself some extra time if you're going anywhere near this fire this morning. Near 64th and National, Sean Gallagher, today's TMJ4.